There are a multitude of collection methods, databases, and organizations in the vast geospatial ecosystem. Manual terrain reconstructions can sometimes take months. The fidelity of databases are nowhere near the current rendering capabilities, and the U.S. Army has spent significant amounts of money to generate terrain for training and simulation systems. In this fragmented ecosystem, how do we ensure that decision makers receive accurate, up-to-date geospatial data when and where they need it? The Army's One World Terrain research effort has begun to answer this question. Researchers have achieved this by diving deep into every phase of geospatial data science, from the collection of source data to its final application. One World Terrain research has refined the process into a five-phase workflow. The first thing a user needs is source data. In the collection phase, a user gets data from potentially multiple sources. This can be anything from still images to underwater topography. Whatever form the data comes in, it isn't ready for training and simulation yet. This leads to the processing phase, in which users work with software to turn the source data into something usable in a simulation. This includes the segmentation and classification of terrain features like structures, road surfaces, and vegetation, which require special handling in a training and simulation context. One thing that we're doing that's fairly unique is a whole soup to nuts pipeline for collecting and employing this uh, rapid captures of terrain. The other interesting bit is classification to make it operationally useful. It's one thing to have a whole bunch of data. It's another thing to be able to understand what that data means and employ it in the simulation. Phase three is storage. Here, the data has to be stored in a secure repository with permissioned gateways. The repository must also be optimized for distribution to the point of need, which is phase four of the workflow. Research in this phase focuses on ensuring that the data is delivered to the point of need quickly and securely. The fifth and final phase is application, in which researchers find and optimize the best applications for terrain tools in decision making. This workflow supports the ultimate goal of One World Terrain, an authoritative, geospecific 3D representation of the planet that is usable in current and next generation modeling and simulation systems. Ultimately, the One World Terrain workflow and the solutions created from it will enable soldiers at different echelons with different requirements to experience a seamless, realistic geospatial foundation when executing their training. One World Terrain, supporting the future of Army training.